Hi, welcome to an Arduino tutorial from Robojax. In this video, we are going to see how we can use this ACS758 current sensor that can measure up to 200 ampere of current with this LCD1602 with all these wires. You can get the code for this project by clicking at the link in the description below, which will take you to robojax.com slash learn slash Arduino. Let's get started with this. For this video, you need to watch two other videos that I have already created. One is for this uh, sensor, and that's fully detailed explanation and the code for this that I have written from scratch. So you have to make sure that run that code and display the current on a, a serial monitor on your computer. Once that works, leave it aside and open a new uh, code and use this code that I have provided. Watch the video, make sure that you understand the connection and once this is able to display a text on this then you come to this video that is a combination of that uh, sensor and this uh, screen together they will work the link for those both of these uh, videos are uh, the description below now let me explain the wiring so the wiring for this lcd is it has been explained in a separate video that I said you have to watch. The only thing that is needed here, we have three wires here from left. That's VCC, ground and signal out. So the signal out, I've connected it to the last one, but also you can connect it to the second one. You can get the value, the same value from both. Uh, so this is connected to five volts and the middle one is connected to the ground. And this yellow, which is the output, uh, voltage is connected to a zero here five volts ground and this is for a zero and from the sensor these two wires have been connected in series with the load so here i'm going to show you quickly how you can measure the current so the load is connected to the power supply the two wires are here so what you do is you just disconnect one of the wires either from the positive or from the neg negative like this and you put your ammeter. So the current goes like that through the load, it comes through the ammeter and it shows you the value. You, you can put it on the positive wire, the same thing, just cut and put it so the current will go through the meter. And here is this module, so you just connect the wires like this in the module. Now let me explain the code. At the beginning, uh, in this here, I've defined the A0 as an input. So if A0 is not available, you can change it to whatever you want. The power supply is 5 volts. Do not change it with this module. It works with 5 volts. And the only important part that you will change is this one. Uh, read the model number that you have. So this is printed on the sensor. And these values, this is 50 bi-directional 50 unidirectional and then 100 150 200 and based on the model just enter this value in my case it's 100 b so i have entered two here so read the value that you have and enter the value and this is the current uh, the amount of, of current that you are interested uh, above of for example if you're interested above 10 make just type here 10 and anything below that will not be displayed, uh, displayed or uh, bother you Below this line, you do not change anything, but this is the code that is uh, for the other project that you have to watch for the sensor. So these have been explained there. And from here, this is, I've added the LCD uh, 1602 code, which is from there to here. This is for the setting up. So this line and these two lines, which has been explained in that video and the sources I've taken from this uh, address and then inside the setup these are the text that is displayed so we set 9600 baht which will display the uh, serial monitor setup so this is for the serial monitor and these are just the text on the screen and this is creating a 16 character two line LCD uh, which has been explained so these all have been explained there up to here and now the important part that I've combined both is below uh, this line. 
because these have been explained in the other video here I've set LCD clear and then we go to uh, character zero of uh, line zero and then we say current and that is the value and that is this text that you see here after that we go to uh, character 9 of line 0 that is character 0 1 2 3 uh, 0 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 it starts from 9 and we display the text this is the current the current is calculated here and we just insert it on the screen and after that we go to character 15 from here 9 10 11 12 13 14 15 we type A so that A is there so we can read it as ampere and then we go to character 0 of line 1 this is a correct line 1 line 0 line 1 character 0 is here and then we type this text sense V and sense voltage this is just sensing voltage if you don't need it remove and put something else uh, I had that value so I just use it and again we go to character 9 line 1 and then put the voltage the voltage is uh, calculated here and then at the end of uh, the character 15 we just put V and then if we don't have a current here it says no current so when we have no current it displays on the serial monitor here and in here and then it continues the loop continues waiting 500 milliseconds and continues like that let me show you the demonstration when the current is shown here also I've made this uh, code for the uh, serial monitor so it can constantly show the current let me just change the current a little so you can see it I'm just updating the current as the current updates here and also reflects it here now it's almost 20 ampere so I'm going up so now it's 24.5 there is a little discrepancy here between the value that I'm reading so let me just punch 30 ampere now it's 30 ampere current let's go 40 now it's 40 ampere this is huge current when the current reaches below the limit it will display no current and then once we have a, uh, some amount of current it just automatically shows the current so you can eliminate any value that you are not interested in thank you for watching this was introduction on how to use the 8 current sensor with this LCD 1602 uh, with all these wires please thumb up the video and also if you subscribe you get updates of my upcoming videos Take care.